time for an unpacking. An interesting unpacking. An opening. A grand opening. <laughs> we went to a friend's grand opening of Vendetta Comic Books. Of Vendetta Comics. In Fond du Lac. 191 North Main Street, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. A friend of ours, Kevin, also owns Flashpoint Comics in Kowaskam, Wisconsin. You can contact them at 262-388-2283. If you want to see if they have something that you're looking for, they have a... He's got a really good collection of newer comics and figures, pops, accessories. Uh, collectible items, stuff like that. Uh, the new shop looks wonderful. Can't wait to see what they do with it over time. But we just so happened to go to their grand opening today and see what we could come across. And let's see here. He gave me the Quick or read the Amazing Spider-Man issue introducing the rise of Queen Goblin, which this character wasn't really interesting me, but now I at least got a little teaser that I can check out and see whether or not I like this character and go from there. But we will see once we read it and check it out. And then we got, he asked if we checked out Shock Shop. And I'm like, I believe one of the club members reviewed it on Crimson Color Comic Club the other week. But it's a two-sided comic. And it's like, so you're basically... Yeah, one story on each side. Only thing I hate about these is do they tell you which side to read first? I don't see no Nowhere that says 1A, 1B. That can be annoying. Yeah. Read one and the other ones. Then you should have read the other one first or something. But it doesn't say it all. So I am going to... It's their grand opening in this, too. She's talking about their grand opening. We'll have to, like, check out the first page of each one. But, yeah, just by reading a little bit from each side, I'm not really getting a feel of which one would be the better side to read. But we'll have to see. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure... I think Anthony from the Crimson Color Comic Club reviewed this a week or two ago. I will definitely check it out. Got Shock, Shock Shop number one and number two. We'll see how, how we enjoy that. If it's worth going any further. And the wife seen this one and asked me if I grabbed it. And I didn't even look at his instrument instrument because uh the other one i was i was interested in was a guitarist kind of like a zombie-ish type guitarist creature and this one's a werewolf drummer which i'm glad i got this one i seen the werewolf but i wasn't paying attention that he was the drummer of the group but yeah it's monsters for Me monsters of metal and it doesn't say whether or not it's a one-shot or not, but I assume 
It doesn't have a number one on it, so I don't think it's ongoing. So I assume it's just a one shot, but it's by Opus Comics. We will see what happens, and we'll be reviewing this. Oh, this one will definitely be reviewed on uh, Werewolf of Comics uh, video podcast and the video episodes in the future, I'm sure. So, and we picked up a couple figures because, well, I'm a big kid and I like to have them. I like. The toys are cool. There's a lot of cool toys out there nowadays. But we had to add on. And this was a very basic form. But it's a 40th anniversary Evil Dead Ash. I like that. He's holding the chainsaw. This is from the... That's why. It's like it's off the original movie. He took the chainsaw out. He hacked up his girlfriend. <laughs> And then, then he eventually lost his hand and had to modify the chainsaw to add it to his hand. And that's the ashes I have. I'll have the chainsaw on the hand already. So it's cool getting ash without with a normal chainsaw. No blood on him yet. Still a virgin to the nightmare that's going to come in the evening. <laughs> When they're sitting at their cabin in the woods. I don't have... I don't even know how many turtles I got. If I have all the turtles. Ninja turtles or not. For Pop's characters. But Casey Jones is one of my favorites. And this is a pretty cool... I like this kind of black and white color crossover that they're doing. With the Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. But this is Casey Jones. PX exclusive. And it's just... I wish he had a hockey stick with him. I don't see the hockey stick sticking out. And you usually got the backpack full of weaponry. which, But he's got the two baseball batches. Which are key weapons for him. He likes the the thumper bats. The, I mean, he Nowadays, he'd be upgraded to the katanas. Or not the katanas. What are they called? The eskrima sticks. He'd probably be upgraded to those this day and age, but yeah, that was a key thing for him back in the older days. And it's just, they have It's like the black and white imagery from the comics, but the, when I say with the characters, it's more of a it's a shadow effect on the characters. They all have that like one sided shadow effect to them. Yes, yeah, looks like the turtles, Casey Jones, and Shredder is part of this first group. But yeah, I like that. He's awesome looking. And they got great deals up there. I, you're not going to see this video in time to go to their grand opening. But they had 25% off for their grand opening. And Kevin always has uh, reasonable prices on all his items that I've seen. Let's see. We got one more pop. And this was for the wife's collection. It's a BAM Books, Toys, Tech More exclusive, which I've never heard of the BAM exclusive before. Not exactly sure where the BAM one comes out of, but this is a Bram Stoker. The guy who wrote that weird book, what was it called? You law, but uh, yeah, that's a unique character, and he's holding his Dracula book, and 
my wife's got one of the biggest collections of Dracula books that how many different Dracula books do you have now? She says like 70 plus covers. Different covers she has of Dracula now. Anytime she finds one that she doesn't recognize or doesn't think she has, she picks up. Got quite the collection. It's got to be one of the biggest collections I know of. Bram Stoker, Dracula, different types of books. This one, oh, he's got sticker on the box. Like stickers on the back, they're gonna peel off. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> I hate when you can't get the damn stickers off. But this, I, I'm like Ghostbusters. And it doesn't look like Ghostbusters. It's WWE Elite Collection, but a purple <laughs> Undertaker character. In a Ghostbusters style box. They did have like Shawn Michaels and a couple other characters. That now that I look at the back, it looks like maybe The Rock, Shawn Michaels, John Cena. I can't tell that's Triple H or something. Well, here. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> the ectoplasmic undertaker rises from the grave to claim the WWE championship for the land of the dead. So John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin, okay, it's Stone Cold, it's not Triple H. The Rock and Shawn Michaels strap their proton packs to their backs to bring the title back to the WWE Universe. Damn it, now I think I want the whole collection. Yeah, I'll have to see if they still got them. Next time I go out there, I might have to get them, but just the Purple Undertaker, I just, it'll go great with. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is it a Purple Shredder, I think? One of the characters. This will go good with that one. So we'll have to put that together with that. But that's an interesting little. I'd love to see a movie with that. <laughs> with those guys all doing up the Ghostbusters thing. That'd be fun. All right. Now, the last thing we bought, <laughs> we bought a few of. <laughs> We're addicted to these damn things. <laughs> They're the world's smallest micro figures and comics. <laughs> I didn't realize I got this many. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to open them all here. I'm going to open a few at least. But yeah. I went a little overboard. <laughs> These damn things are cool. And I want some turtles. I got uh, it's got G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Transformers, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, World's Smallest Figures and Comic Books. And I love how they do it because the figures, you can open them up, take them out the back, put them back in, and you're not ruining the nice case that they come in. And it's just yeah, come with a little comic book with the magnifying glass, the, a little comic sleeve. I did have one where the comic book was bigger than the sleeve. So, oh, this is awesome. See, I got it was worth picking up. See this one again. The comic is bigger. Than the sleeve, so I don't think the sleeves were meant for the for actual comic sleeves for these. But you get a Masters of the Universe mini comic. It's the actual whole comic in miniature form. 
comes with a little magnifier and glass so you can so it's easier to read but this is this has to be a bonus one this has to be has to be something special but we got battle cat that is just so cool i did not even expect that character to be one of the characters uh doesn't come apart oh it does this one opens up on top and you can take out, out your character play with it put him back in there that's awesome that it opens up like that but yeah, got Battle Cat. That's cool. I like him. I can deal with that. Usually, when I open things like this, I usually get skunk. Get the crappy, crappy items. I figured I'd get every GI Joe probably. No. I got lucky so far. This one, I do not know who she is. We got RC, a pink transformer. And then, like I was talking about with the normal ones, they pop open on the back, take them out, play with them, and put them back in their little case. And that's... Always handy. You get some plastic stuck in there. You can't close the case. But yeah, I don't know who she is. That'll be interesting. Transformers are all dead. Definitely want to read that comic. That one, see? That one fits in the sleeve. That's why it's weird with them being Transformers that one would, one wouldn't. Didn't notice my battery's dying, so I ain't going to be able to open all these on here. I will do I'll do a few more, see how they go, and then the other ones I'll talk about it some other time. Like, I feel like, is this box just Masters of the Universe? But I needed this one. And this one's actually a special one, too, because this is a Leo Skeletor. I don't know who the Leo Skeletor is, but now that I've seen these, I want to go buy the rest. <laughs> All right, let's see what this one is. I gotta get at least a couple turtles eventually. Just not having luck with any of the turtle stuff. Oh, speaking of it. Speak of the devil, man. We got ourselves, Mikey. That's awesome. At least got the best turtle. Hopefully I'm showing him the right side. <laughs> uh, the stories. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic. We'll let, we got Mikey. I'll do two more. And we got a normal He-Man. Which is good because they had a normal He-Man open on the box. The Hordes of Hordok. Comic. But I have the Slime He-Man, which is the Easter green one. That was a special one, I assume. I got that one. I got the regular one, and they had a regular one on the box, and I was going to get it for that. Buy the whole case so I could get that. Figure two, but no, I don't need it. Well, we got... Oh, uh, actually, this would be, this is Leonardo. Looks like the same comic, though. Leonardo figure. 
I don't know why these ones come with a keychain hanging on them. But. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. We'll open one more. We're going to have to end it, hopefully, before the battery dies. Let's see what our final one is. It's a Transformer. Well, at least we didn't get no G.I. Joes. And this one I might have. I think I got the last time I got some. It's our scream. Full Transformer. Yeah. And that storyline. I can't quite read. I suppose I could use the magnifying. Star Scream's last stand. Or, or no, someone's. Someone's last stand. <laughs> so much for the magnifier, I guess. It helps if it's taken out of the plastic, probably. Yeah, those are cool. Those are fun. Definitely worth it. I should have just bought the whole box. <laughs> I just have so much fun opening these damn little things. And it's easier to pile these miniatures up instead of this, these big items. They take up so much space nowadays. But we're running out of time. Our battery's going to die, sadly. So check it out. You're going to be too late for the grand opening. But let's go... Go see Kevin. Check it out if you're in the state of Wisconsin. Vendetta Comics. 191 North Main Street, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. And he also has Flashpoint Comics in Kowaskum, Wisconsin. Check it out. Lots of great things. If you like collectibles, pops, all that stuff. He's got some ones you've probably never seen. So I suggest go... Go check out their stores. And we're going to leave it there before our battery dies. So be good to yourself. Be good to everybody else. Check out Crimson Call Comic Club under the call. Under the call of MS. Both on audio and video now. YouTube. Podcast. Platforms. Many more things to come. Hopefully in the future. And we'll talk to you again soon.